High fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Life Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and uh, see, we're going to focus on the one who broke your heart. So we're going to see what's been happening with your, with that person, the energy, what's happened with the connection. Do they feel regret? Do they feel sorry? Do they feel any remorse for hurting you here? Um, is there a chance for the two of you to reconnect or is it all said and done? Um, it is going to be a general reading, so guys, please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So focus on your person and we just want to see, you know, what's really happened with the one that broke your heart here. Okay, so for some of you, I can see that the person that you were dealing with um, has quite a fiery nature. Okay, they may have resorted to sarcasm. They may have res they may have been really quick um, to anger here. Okay, they may have had um, anger management issues, like they were unable to control their anger here, and I can see that they may have been prone to emotional outbursts or um, outbursts of anger here, and I feel like. In part, that did contribute to the failing of this relationship, okay? Because I feel like this person here has may have had um, unresolved emotional issues. There may have been some childhood trauma, some past trauma, and they've been carrying around some deep-seated anger or hurt that unfortunately I feel like has been um, fueling some of their actions and some of the things that they uh, say to you. I'm also seeing that they weren't entirely patient with you or they weren't entirely patient with themselves at times or with this connection here, especially as indicated by the temperance card. Okay, um, there may have been a, an imbalance in your energies here. Okay, they may have resorted to like extreme extremities at some times like for example if they were feeling anger they may have been really prone to raising their voice or going around kicking and screaming here because they were unable to deal with their emotions i'm also seeing that with temperance here maybe some of you have already mastered the art of letting go of this person letting go of the energy the hurt and the pain they caused you for others maybe this is something that you're working on or maybe it's something that you're that you're connecting romantic energy is working so they're trying to work on themselves and they're trying to release some of the hurt or the pain that may have stemmed either from this connection or from earlier on uh, connections or situations here Okay, so it's definitely um, also a card that whenever it does pop up, and this is why I feel like they may have become, they may have behaved in an extreme type of way because it's, it's a suggestion that extremity in a situation, okay, extremity plays uh, some sort of role in a situation here. Temperance is also about higher learning here, and I feel like they're... Maybe you found peace with the situation, okay? Maybe you've learned a lot from this heartbreak, from this disconnection, from this separation. Maybe you've learned a lot about the way that they've treated you and you've learned, you know, exactly what you, you, what you do deserve and what you don't deserve, you know, what you will tolerate and what you won't tolerate. So there's been a lot of, I feel like there's been a lot of lessons that um, are going to be absolutely critical in um in your journey of life here okay because you found peace with whatever it is that's unfolded between you and this person that hurt the pain the imbalance 
the fact that things didn't work out you found peace with it or you're on the your pathway to finding peace okay and a lot i feel like a lot that has come from this situation has definitely taught you a lot of lessons here i feel like there's a lot of fire in this connection so a lot of passion um, a lot of attraction here it may have been primarily based on these type of emotions here or there just may have been the two of you were so into each other that on some level you didn't necessarily find a healthy way to express those emotions here I feel like with the seven of wands you were definitely prepared to fight for this person prepared to fight for this connection you weren't willing to give up so easily because you worked really hard to get to where you were with this individual um, it could also mean that there may have been some opposition you may have experienced some opposition or even your person may have experienced some opposition during your connection with them like they may have been connecting energies who kept continually opposing the connection again and again it may have been like their um, could have been their close friends their siblings their parental figures you know they kept sort of um, opposing this connection and time and time again, although they were trying to fight and really defend you and really defend your connection with them, they were, I feel like, just driven to exhaustion that they stopped, they kind of stopped doing that and they started giving up. And this is where I feel like it really, their opinions of you and your connection really became influential um, upon this person here. So I definitely see that your energies he made for really tense and a very competitive environment a lot of opposition you may have felt like you were constantly having to compete for their attention or constantly having to defend yourself or defend your connection very tense type of environment okay a lot of maybe a lot of arguing a lot of fighting a lot of disagreeing and look everyone argues it's natural but it just felt like you guys were constantly walking on eggshells around each other or just a lot of tension here a lot of tension um you felt like you were continually having to prove yourself, continually having to protect what you've built, what you've built up here. So it just like in, it never felt like you kind of like you were grappling with some sort of pressure and maybe you were putting all this pressure on yourself or maybe you felt this pressure coming from connecting energies on the connection. You you did feel like you've invested so much of yourself into this connection, so much of your energy, your your time, your attention, your energy, your emotional, mental, physical energy, your resources. Like you were, you've built a life with this person or you were prepared to build a life with this person. For some of you, this is, this was your best friend as well as your lover. It may have been a connection that started off as a friendship and then turned romantic, but you felt like this was your equal, your partner, your other half here. And, um, a lot of you did feel secure, but when this person walked away, you felt like, they took everything with you um, and I feel like at the end of the day your person felt like to me it feels like your person was uh, not necessarily listening to what their heart was telling them or they weren't necessarily listening to their emotions and their intuition they kind of allowed for the opinion of people around them connecting energies around them to influence okay to play an influential role in the outcome and the decision that they've made Okay, because it feels like some threat or opposition here kind of eventually caught them off guard, caught them off uh, by surprise. And it feels like they just became really drained of having constantly to scramble or fight or to constantly having to protect themselves or protect this connection. Um, and it just felt like the, the worst case, like the, the worst case scenario was that they just had this plan that they were going to like hit eject they were going to leave this connection here because it just became too much challenging okay it feels like them having to defend themselves or defend the connection take a stand here um, it just felt like it was zapping their strength their energy here constantly having to confront i don't know if it's you that they were constantly having to confront or constantly having to confront those people who are opposing or threatening this connection but to them, I feel like they know they didn't mean to hurt you. Okay. And even with the, like, 
the arguments that you guys did have, the um, conflict, the tension, I feel like a lot of that was already existed in their energy and unfortunately they found you as a bit of an outlet to express some of those um, hurtful emotions. So it's not like they went around intentionally trying to hurt you. I just feel, feel like this person was uh, copying a lot of opposition, a lot of conflict from other energies and instead of listening to what they wanted, they decided to listen to what other people were wanting for them here. And I feel like what the two of you had was very strong, very powerful, but obviously they weren't willing to fight hard enough or long enough for it. I mean, can you rebuild things with this person? I just feel like it depends. If the two of you want to come back together and if you guys want to find a way to make it work, I feel like if two people truly want to find a way to make it work, then yes, you can. But, you know, what's to say that they're going to stop listening to other people here around them, right? Okay, guys, and these are your messages. So thank you, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. Um, for those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.